up y'all it's your girl Brittany michelle and i'm back again with another video and yeah i'm back y'all this is my comeback video so i know it's been a minute been a long minute long minute since i posted a video but i'm officially back i promise i'm back y'all so this video is is not gonna be like based off of nothing really i'm just letting y'all know that i'm coming back i'm letting y'all know that i'm here to stay and I'm just talk to y'all about why I left or why I what, I didn't make YouTube a priority. And <clears throat> here it goes. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I kind of got a little bit discouraged, and not based off of what anybody said because nobody really said anything discouraging. I just felt like you know, Brittany, you don't have nothing to tell these people. Why are you trying to do YouTube? Um, you, you don't, you don't have nothing to give. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got nothing to tell nobody that they don't already know. Honestly, that's what I thought. Like, I have nothing to tell anybody that they don't already know. So, that, that was, it was kind of mental. It was a mental thing, and that really bothered me. And what I realized was that every single time I post a YouTube video, or even like a, a Insta story video, or Facebook story video, or Snapchat, somebody, at least one person, always says, "Thank you, Brittany. I needed that," or "Oh my God, I needed this. I, I needed this in this moment," or "Thank you for posting this. I've been going through this." And da -da 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 -da, whatever the case may be, I've always had at least one person on every video say something. And so I decided, if I can help at least one person per video, that is good enough for me. Like that is exceptional to me, and that really showed me that you know what, Brittany, you you. You do have something to say. You know what I'm saying? You do have something that the people need to hear. You do have something to say that people don't know. A lot of times we have gifts, right? A lot of times we have gifts that we feel like, you know, people can't really use for real. So we think so low of our gifts because it's just so common to us. But it's really, it's really, it's really there to help the next person. So how can i explain it? a gift is something that you do so exceptionally so exceptionally well that you think nothing of it you know what i'm saying like say somebody is good in math like they can quickly multiply add divide subtract in their head like i can ask somebody you know what's seven times seven it might take one person i'll put this on again if i could say what's seven times seven it might take one person 0.25 seconds to spit out 49 I think that's seven times seven. I don't know, y'all. Don't quote me. I'm not a mathematician. It might take somebody 0.5 seconds to spit out the correct answer, and it might take the next person a little bit longer. They might look at you like, "Dang, how you know that? How could you do that in your head just now?" Like I'm using seven point seven times seven. Like I know it's it's nothing that you could figure it out on paper, but you know what I'm saying. So like your gift is something that you do so well that you you don't really think nothing of it, but don't take light of that. That's what I was doing. I was taking light of the gift that I was given. And I know that it's a gift. I've been told that it's a gift. I've been told what my calling is in life. And instead of instead of um, holding strong to that, instead of being confident in the calling that I know that, I'm, that I've been given, I was letting the thoughts, the negative thoughts, the enemy get in my mind and kind of control that and prevent me from doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So, yeah, I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. I'm more confident. I am more confident, not just in myself, but in God. I feel like if God gave me something, he gave it to me for a reason. So I need to use that despite how I feel, despite of me, in spite of me, I need to use the gift that God gave me because he gave it to me for a reason. Use it, Brittany. So that's what I've been doing. And another reason why I have not been recording is because, y'all, I'm being transparent. Take it. I'm going to be... This, my videos are going to be extremely transparent. I'm not faking. I'm not putting on a facade. I'm not being anybody who y'all want me to be. Not y'all, but I'm not being anybody who others may want me to be. I'm not being who society expects me to be as a Christian. I'm not being, I'm being me. This is, what you see is what you get. I'm not filtering anything. How I talk is how I talk. I'm not going to get on here and say, I don't, I don't know. I can't be, I'm, I'm not being fake with y'all. I'm not going to be fake with y'all. I don't have the energy to make up things in my mind to be fake about. I just have to literally be me. And y'all, y'all just gonna have to be okay with that. And if you're not okay with that, you don't have to watch my videos. Let's be real. You don't, you 
do not have to click play on any of these videos. So, what you see is what you get. Somebody gonna love it. I love it. So, whatever. But, another reason why I have not been posting videos is because I'm like, I'm always, I'm always saying like, I don't have the best background right now. Um, I don't have the best lighting. Um, this has to be right. This has to be right. That has to be right. And I, it's gotten to the point where it's like, I'm trying to wait on the perfect moment. I'm trying to wait till I get everything perfect before I come out and do, and do these videos. And I just, today I was just like, I just have to start with where I am. My video, my backgrounds might not be perfect all the time. And that's all right. My backgrounds, I don't care if I'm recording videos in front of the garbage can. Pay attention to what I'm saying, not what my background looks like. Like, I was focusing so much on the unimportant things, like the unnecessary things. They're bonuses, they're pluses. Like, I'm a big person when it comes to aesthetics. I love things to look pretty and to look nice. But that's not, that's not always important. And I had to realize that, like, what you say is really what matters, not what your background looks like. Like, if they judging you for the background of your video, don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to watch it. So that's that's the one reason why I wasn't recording. I'm trying to wait till everything is perfect, and I just don't have the time, energy, for that anymore. And um, <laughs> and I um, I remembered something from a few years ago. My pastor prophesied to me. Well, yeah, it was sort of a prophecy. So what he said was he caught me off guard, and he um, this is paraphrasing. I don't remember verbatim, but he said um, if God if God wants you to help your neighbor. Would you still help them if you don't have a full face of makeup or have the nicest outfit or your hair just right? Would you still go help your neighbor? And I said, yeah, of course. Like, of course, if my neighbor needs help out, I will definitely not care about the way that I look when I help them. So he, he what he said was, all right, um, God, God is going to, God is counting on you for that or something in terms of, okay, he's going to, he's going to need you for that. And so I was at the time I was literally thinking my next door neighbor might <laughs> my next door neighbor might need me for something are you going to put on a full face of makeup are you going to try to look presentable before you go help them and i'm like no but now thinking back on that my neighbor doesn't have to be literal my neighbor is my neighbors are y'all my neighbors are anybody in the moment who needs me and so I can't be concerned about wearing a full face of makeup. I can't be concerned about my hair being laid and slayed. I can't be concerned about wearing the best outfits before I come on this video and help y'all. And that was another thing that was keeping me back. Like, I'm like, I don't look presentable today. My hair in the ponytail. I look like a boy. I look like a foot today. Yes, a foot. I look like who did it and why. My my outfit isn't right. I don't have, um, my eyebrows aren't done. I don't have lashes on. Like, I used to be like, just wait till I get ready. And I never get ready, y'all. Most times when you see me, it won't be with makeup. I do not care to put on makeup every day. I'm not that chick. I don't, if, sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on today. But most times, I'm not. Most times, my hair isn't laid. Y'all look, this piece right here, can't get it to lay down for nothing. I'm trying to pull on it. But what happened was, I sprayed a little bit too much spray, excuse me, on this part. And so, um, it's like making this stick up so whatever whatever see it would be something just as small as my hair not laying down as to why i wouldn't do a video so i came on here to let y'all know that i'm back i'm better and if god has called you to do something do it in spite of everything do it in spite of you because it's at the end of the day it's bigger than you at the end of the day when it's all said and done and god calls you home he's not going to be like how did you look while you were fulfilling the purpose that you had in life? How were you looking? Were you comfortable when you did what you did? When Were you comfortable when you were doing what I called you to do? No, he's going to be like, did you do what I told you to do? Did you walk out your full purpose while you were there? And so I have to do that in spite of me. And it takes getting uncomfortable to get to where you're supposed to be. And so this is uncomfortable to me, y'all. Well, it's kind of becoming comfortable. I'm kind of... I feel a little bit free now. I feel free because I'm to the point where it's like, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But I'm doing what I have to do. I'm not here to to aesthetically please anyone. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. And so I'm back. 
I'm better. I'm excited. And another thing, y'all, I'm I'm not that great at editing, so um, that's gonna come with time. I was trying to wait until I'm a, a master editor, till I'm a beast at this thing. I'm watching videos. I'm trying to study, which is good. I'm gonna keep studying and keep watching videos, but I'm trying to wait. To, I was trying to wait till I perfected it before I even put anything out. And I have to realize, Brittany, you start where you are. I don't know whose quote this is, but you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Like, how you trying to get better? You ain't even start with what you want to get better at. You can't get better if you ain't do nothing yet. How you going to get better at something you've never started? So, this is the beginning. Cheers to us. You can expect at least one video a week. I'm going to definitely try to do more, but hold me accountable for one video a week. And I think I'm going to... um. I think I'm going to do them every Wednesday. I think I'm going to post every Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm trying to debate. Today is Tuesday, but I probably won't put this up until Wednesday. So, yeah, you guys. You might see my background looking like this. This is some, um, this is my wall. Y'all so plain. Don't judge me. This is my wall. I did some, um, hand lettering, um, quotes up here. I customized this canvas myself. I'm trying to, um, I'm going to do a video on this so i'm not gonna go into deep detail about it but i'm trying to make sure that i have i'm looking every day at positivity i'm looking every day at where i want to be where i'm trying to go i'm seeing that every day i'm creating the environment for it so that's what that that's about you'll probably eventually see my wall completely filled you probably won't even see me um using this bed i probably won't record all of my videos in this room i won't say this will be the last time you see my room because it probably won't this is my um comfort zone this is the space that i like to be in this is this is where i'm my most realist in my room so this you might actually see a lot of my videos in here so don't come expecting me to be all professional and sitting in offices and all of that because it that might not be the case but I actually didn't tell you guys what my videos will be about. So, of course, of course, they will be about um, um, biblical principles. I'm a Christian, and a lot of my videos will be about helping and guiding you through your Christianity life. Through your Christianity life. I don't know what that means. It, it helping, helping you and guiding you through biblical principles. And, um... A lot of you guys may not know this, but I am a day trader. Um, I do trade in the foreign exchange market, so some of my videos will be on that as well. Um, and some of my videos will just be you seeing me day in the life of Brittany Michelle, what I do. Because I'm an entrepreneur as well, for those of you who do not know that. So you guys might see a day in the life of Brittany Michelle being an entrepreneur or just doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? So be on the lookout for that. And also, I do want you guys to comment below. Listen, y'all. Don't ignore my requests for comments. I really, really, really need y'all to help me help y'all. Seriously. Help me. I'm asking you, please. Comment below ideas, things that you want me to um, do on my videos, things that you want to see. The sky's the limit. There's no box. You don't, you're not limited to what you ask me. Ask me anything. Ask me questions. Ask me how to videos. I can show you guys how to hand letter. I can show you guys um, the basics of Forex. I can show you guys. I can answer any questions that you might have about entrepreneurship. I can answer any questions that you might have about the Bible or just principles and morals, whatever, you guys. Please comment below something that you would like me to do in a video, something that you would like to see. Um, and yeah, I will definitely make sure that I, I do that. And I'm, I'm excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. So if you guys are excited with me, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe if you're definitely wanting to see more videos like this or more videos from me. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bells because that way you'll be notified as soon as I post a video. Um, you do not have to wait. You will, you will be notified first. Oh, and you guys, I am a, a boutique owner, so I do plan on doing give, giveaways, especially now because I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers. My goal is to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month, March 31st, y'all. Help me out. Share my videos. Let people know about my um, about my YouTube page. I really, really, really want to get to 1,000 subscribers. So what I'm going to do is, for every like, for every comment, for every um, subs um, for every person that subscribes, I will put your name. Where's my little um? Here it goes. I will put your name in 
this cute little candle holder. I'm going to fold up pieces of paper and put, I'm going to write your name on a piece of paper and put it in here. And I will do a drawing probably, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will announce it on my social media platforms. And I'll post my social media platforms on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, and they'll also be in the, descrip the description box down below. But help me, y'all. For every like, comment, share, and subscription, um, I will put your name in a drawing. I don't care if you... Um, however many comments i don't care if you comment on one video 20 times your name is going in this container 20 times like seriously um i will be giving away free things from my boutique and i'll probably also do some cash giveaways we all love cash right so make sure that you do that thank you guys so much so far in advance road to 1000 subscribers y'all help your girl out help your girl out show some love show some support thank you guys once again for watching this video i look i look i so look forward to seeing you guys in the next video this is your girl Brittany michelle and i am out